Hello, and if you're rejoining us, welcome back. If you're new, then go to the playlist and watch the series from the start. Don't forget to leave me that thumbs up and comment down below and hit the notification button so that you can keep up to date. Well, Serie B, the last couple of games have gone a bit wonky. Is the formation working or do we need to relook at it? Welcome to the Sicilian Defence. Welcome to episode 25 of the Sicilian Defence. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have games against Podonone and Modena, both in Serie B. Um, I can't remember which is at home and which is away, actually, um, but we'll work that one out in a minute. We've uh, obviously 18th of January, current uh, date. We are in the transfer window. It has been open for 18 days and not a lot going on. We have brought uh, Nikos Baxvanos uh, in from Pescara uh, for 250,000, going up to 375,000. First time we've spent money for some time. That doesn't leave us with a lot in the bank, but uh, potentially currently overspending on wages as well, which is not good. Um, what was I doing? Oh yes, uh, Bex Vanos is a central defender, which is uh, something that we uh, we desperately needed to shore up. Uh, three star current ability, four star potential ability. Um, he um, he's got a bit of a plotted history, really. Um, he's played at Lazio, uh, Pescara just recently in Serie B um, before they got demoted, I think, um, potentially. Um, Oh, no, sorry, he's not. He's been playing in Saria C. Played in Saria B. They did get relegated. Uh, he's been playing in Group B of uh, Liga Pro. Played 21 uh, games for him this season. 7.03. Uh, one assist on one player of the match. So let's hope he can pick that up now, playing in Saria B. Um, he's not he's probably more of a Liga Pro um, player, to be fair, but uh, we'll see. Um, so um, that's who we've brought in. Um, a quick look. And Masso has uh, gone out on loan uh, with the potential to. Uh, he's got a £200,000 optional fee on him. Um, he has left us for car uh, to go to Carpi. That is all that has been happening. I did expect a huge hemorrhage of players um, prior to that, um, but um, no. Well, thankfully, so far, fingers crossed, it remains as is. Uh, right. Um, what else has been happening? Um, Since you were last with us, which was the, uh, I want to say the Chivo Verona. Yes, it was. It's Spezia and Chivo Verona, and obviously the two friendlies in between. I was trying to work out how that happened. Uh, we've played uh, Vicentia, uh, Vicenza, 2-1 uh, win there. Coffee and Maserani um, getting us the win literally three minutes into injury time. Otherwise, it would have been a 1-1 draw. Uh, Cortone. Uh, we lost 2-1. I think we'd be too upset because they were top of the table at that point in time. Uh, so a 2-1 win was... 2-1 uh, loss, rather, was quite good. But uh, Sabale, uh, Sabale uh, was our downfall. Um, we did get an equaliser after 55 minutes, but he uh, puts to the sword after 85. And again, as we know, late goals are um, our nemesis, really, in all sorts of uh, uh, things. This one we threw away. Uh, we were two goals up, Mena and Frabajoli, uh, after 20 and a half an hour. We were well in front. Um, and then they came back. And again, look how late it is. It's really, really annoying. Uh, Plombi after 88 minutes. And then Capone scoring after three minutes into injury time. And literally pretty much with the last game of the kit. A kick of the game, uh, five minutes into injury time. We succumbed. And we've done it again. We need to stop this. We need to work out how we can close a game off. If you've got any ideas, put them in the comments um, because I need to work out why we cave in. It's got to stop. Um, it is really annoying. Both these games are at home today, I've just realised. Uh, so Padone and um, Medina uh, look at the table. 
is always a good thing. After all of that, we still are fourth, albeit we do have a number of teams breathing down our necks, including Frisnoni, um, who we um, will be playing shortly, uh, Benvento, who we have played just in that last game, and Padone, um, who we play today, could overtake us literally on goal difference um, if they win. Uh, so it's a six-pointer, this one. Um, Medina just in front of us uh, but I say just in front nine points in front of us they were in second place but Spezia have overtaken them as I say Crotone up front on 47 no playoffs I don't think here it's literally top two go into Serie A might be a bit early for us to climb up in Serie A we have a decent season if we can finish in these top few here um, I think we'll be more than happy. Right, without any more to do, let's go through to the first game of the episode. It is against Padone. And this is the team that we are putting out against Padone. Minelli in goal, Visconti, Bex Vanos. Uh, comes in to make his debut beside Fabagioli, uh, Zappella, Ladanetti is the deep line playing maker. Mana on the left. Fagioli and Meta are central midfield. And Kofi out on the right. Rav Gallier, uh sets back up up front on the bench. Di Favio, uh, Clayton, Di Paola, Danny Garcia, City, Rizzo, Comi, Ponzi, uh, Stepovic, who isn't 100% fit, Gatto, Kalpai, and Maserani. So. Squad number to be given to one player. That's Bax Vanos. Um, he is going to play at number 38 because that is the next available number other than 13, which we don't want to give him. Um, today's the day. Mena is nervous. Faith in you, get out of there. Oh, sorry, microphone. Uh, go out there and make a difference. Right, let's do it. Padone playing in green. The only thing I didn't check. Oh, we are playing positive. It's okay. I'm just making sure as we're at home, we play positive. Zappella with the corner. Short one. Well, I say short. It's uh, it's sort of like looped in. I don't know sure what Zappella was doing there. Zappella to Visconti. Visconti. And Zappella's on the wrong side of the field. I'm not sure why he's doing... And he's been tripped again. Uh, backs Venos to Ladanetti, finds Visconti. Visconti crosses the ball in, and Rav Gallier just puts that wide. Thought that was going in the back of the net then. Five shots we've had, none on target. They've not had a shot as yet. I don't want to tempt Providence because that will um, invite them, and I don't want to invite them at the moment. We have had a couple on target now, not seeing the highlights for them. Drop down a fifth. Frizzoni have overtaken us. And half time comes. And only that one highlight, really, uh, to show for the second half. Seven shots, two on target, 65% uh, of the possession. Bordone have had no shots, none on target, and 35% of the possession. Don't let that fall uh, fall you into a lull or lull you into a false sense of security because uh, as we well know it's got a tendency to change around at half time and really we should have made the most of having those shots in the first half let's hope it doesn't bite us in the bum we'll be back for the second half and you come back for the second half and uh Padone get us uh, Padone get us underway for the second half and we have a corner, and it's again Zappella. Short corner to Fagioli. Fagioli, Zappella. But he's fired that straight at the goalkeeper. Straight down his throat, and nothing. 
we do really need to pick this one up coffee's taken kofi has taken a knock and wants to come off i think uh we need to have a look at this and see suggesting ponzi but i think ponzi surely why would we bring ponzi hang on a minute. i can't even see ponzi oh there he is midfield right we can play in midfield on the right side Maserani is the attacking midfielder. Okay, maybe we'll uh, we'll do as he says, Rizzo. Okay, let's bring Ponzi on and play him and see how he does on that right side. He's motivated. Let's see how we get on with him on that right. This could be a frustrating afternoon for sure as we head down into and we have a number of players now tired and Visconti being one of them and Ponzi would normally come in for him so I'm thinking this is tactics wise Ponzi over for Visconti and uh, we'll bring Rizzo on in that position Mena is tired and I think this is the opportunity to get Stepovic on let's see if Stepovic can do something that is our three changes and that's what we're going to have to go with we are playing positive aren't we pretty sure we're playing positive Fagioli now tired as well. And we are going to go a whole game here. We've got everything going for us. They've not had a shot or a shot on target. And we aren't going to win this game. How poor is that? Nil nil. 13 shots. Five on target. They've not had a single shot. And we've had the possession. And they have just shut the door. And we have not managed to get a win out of it. That is disappointing. Do we go unlucky, boys? Really should have had the better of this thing. And uh, very disappointing in that first game. Stay in fourth, but we're now 11 points adrift of Medina, who we've got next. Uh, Frizzoni caught us up, but I presume they must have fallen Drew in the end with Salah Natana. Uh, but these guys have caught us. We're only a point behind us now and uh, really breathing down our necks. We need to uh, to turn it around a little bit. Otherwise, we are in trouble. So, uh, mm, not good. I think that uh, that has been the story. Kofi is going to be out for two or three days. That's okay. Uh, next game is four days' time. Uh, ben Bakes Venos uh, makes his debut. Conference is going to be done by him. So, we will be back for the Medina game. And just want to have a look at the past meetings we played them it was 2-2 draw earlier in the season uh, when we played them at their place uh nil nil today so two draws in the season right we will be back for the said second game against uh medina uh is our next game we lost to them earlier in the season so hopefully we can rectify that this time at home And you come back and join us for the a team that are going to, is going to play against Medina. Uh, we are on Sunday. The round of games have been played on Saturday, which has dropped us down to sixth place. Sixth place. Uh, six plays um, fourth, I think it is. No, sixth place third. Um, so we were fourth, but we've dropped down to sixth with the round of games. It's only a couple of points in us, so a win here would push us back up.
um, tucked us in behind uh, Medina, who we're playing today. The team that was going to play them is De Favreau in goal, Ponzi, a Baxvanos, a Fabrigioli, a Zappella in the back line, a Mata in that slot between midfield and defence as the deep lying playmaker, and then a Rizzo, Fagioli, a Ladanetti, and a Pavlev are our midfield with Rav Gallier up front. Minelli, Clayton, De Paula, Magazu, City, Mena, Danny, Danny Garcia, Kalpai, Stepovic, Komi, Visconti and Maserani are our attacking line. I am having one... Because Rav Gallier, to be fair, he hasn't been playing that well. Magazu... He's only got four goals. Rav Gallier's got 13 to date do I put Magazu in that front bit Just, oh, I think I probably do actually Rob Gallier hasn't been playing that particularly well so we'll just do that final swap in the team and we're ready to go five changes in all for this one uh, right we're going to pump fists uh, in fact my assistant is offering no help here which is a once in a while um, right are we doing the avenge Switch times, enjoy the match today. Uh, we've done that one, <clears throat> which has had a, a reasonable response, I think. Um, she's gonna try and pump Pavlev up. Yeah, he's good. We'll go with that for now. And we have a tunnel because it's on telly. Important to and Lucy Pomont's been a Medina this season. Um, I'm not going to discuss. Uh, how about approaching the task of breaching the Serie B's best defence? Um, I don't think we need to I just believe we can beat them because we can. Um, there are ways we could go about it. Uh, beating them, it only takes one goal. I think we'll do that. So we've lost two of our last five and we're on a little bit of a run. Two losses and a draw in our little run where they've only just lost one game in their last five. <clears throat> and there you go. There is, there's the table, the revised tables. You'll see Medina and third. We're down in sixth for this one. Uh, but sticking to our new formation, of course. Let's just drop that down. Pull that back across. They have a free kick early in the game. Let's hope it doesn't come to anything. Well tackled, but he's got back up and... Two minutes gone and De Favreau is beaten to the ball. Well worked free kick. We just didn't dispose of the remnants. This is well tackled by whoever that is. Appella made a good tackle, but didn't get rid of it. And uh, De Favreau was slow. Defence was sort of like still asleep. And uh, he was onside. And we're going to have to come back from a goal down. If we're to win this. Not much doing. Ben Vex, Bax, Bax Venos has picked up a yellow card. We have a throw in on that far side. Zapella to Pavlev. Ladanetti back inside to Pavlev. Pavlev holds it up for Fagioli. Magazu. Rizzo. Ooh. That looked as if the goalkeeper had saved it, but it was just fractionally high from Rizzo. Uh, 
We have a free kick now. Fagioli to Rizzo, and it's an own goal. Oh, no, it's not. Ladinetti gets the goal. Um, quite sure what was going on there. It almost looked like Zero, I think his name is. Put it in the back of his hand. Rizzo, lovely header. Right, so Zaro has... It's not Zero. Zaro has fired the shot against Ladinetti in trying to clear the ball, and it's come in off of Ladinetti. Goes as a goal, and we've got a second. Bax Venos gets his first goal for us. And we go 2-1 up on the stroke of half-time. And uh, always believe. Lovely cross into the box. Bax Venos, the goalkeeper did actually get to it, but it was such a hard header. He was, uh, he was beaten hands down. And as you'll see, they've levelled off. We've kept our XG climbing. And uh, I think... That wasn't a bad... That makes a change for us to come from behind. So they've had one shot, one on target, which was the goal. 29% of possession. Uh, we've had seven shots, two on target. 71% of the possession. It's well set for the second half, but we're going to expect them to come back at us in this second half. So stand by. Second half comes next. And um, you come back to us, Magazoo gets us underway for the second half. No changes made at half time, I don't think, for either side. And uh, we have a throw in. Zappella, it's cleared, but only as far as Mater. Mater cross ball, and his uh, Ladinetti was tripped, but uh, I think he's come away with the ball, and it was a, obviously a fair trip. And it's come into the area of De Favrio. Has put that one behind for a corner. Still danger from the corner, of course. Ball comes in. Ladanetti having a lovely header out. Rizzo was in midfield to pick it up. He's gone on a bit of a run on that far side. And he's tackled and it goes out for a throw. Pavlov won yellow card. We're not really interested in that. corner Zappella with the corner Baveno oh and he's in it was a lot of ping-ponging around Bax Venos looked to be getting his second but it was saved we'll see that again on the replay I'm um, not absolutely certain I think it was Mate who scored in the end Zappella Bax Venos it was headed out Fabigioli uh, I think hit the post it come to Mater. Mater puts it away and we are 3-1 up against Medina and we've Really, 72 minutes gone. We've kept them in control. 28% possession. Two shots, two on target, which was the one that you saw. Um, and uh, we've really can kept them contained up to now. Let's hope we don't implode, which we have a tendency to do as we start to get tired. Uh, we're going to go a, just a wee bit more, and then we'll look to make some changes, I think. Right. Some fresh legs in there. As you can see, we have tiredness now. Fagioli. He can be re replaced by De Paula. Pavlev has not had a good game on that right side. Uh, I'm thinking, right, okay. Are we going to move... Oh, Pavlov is tired, though. And do we want to move him back into where Zappella is when he's tired? Possibly not. Um, ooh, decisions, decisions. Because we don't really have... Visconti can play midfield left. I haven't realised that. Well, I never. Do So, in which case, then, let's move Rizzo. Right, we're taking... Hang on. We're taking Pavlev off. So we'll move Rizzo over there. And then what we'll do is bring Visconti on. 
Ponzi can play there as well. What happens if we move Ponzi into that position? Move Ponzi there. Pavlev can be replaced by Visconti then. That's looking better, isn't it? And right. Zappella. We need a right sided midfielder. Can Maserani not play? Hang on. Maserani. He can. He's not convincing, but he can play there. We've done two switches. Tempted to leave it at that for a minute. Let's just uh, hold on for a second, too. Um, I don't want to. De Paolo is complacent. He's got him motivated, so that's good. Right, we're back underway then. Bit of a change round. Mater looks like he's given everything. So it's probably Mater then we need to change. Let's do Mater. Um, Ladanetti is tired. Right, switch Mater and Ladanetti around. And then what we'll do is... Mater, we can swap with Maserani can play in that middle bit I think we'll put Maserani there to see out the game pump fists and do that we're all good that's the changes made then Mater Ladanetti swashing Visconti with the corner he's gone to Maserani Back to Visconti. Visconti in and Fabagioli gets number four. And we are rampant against Medina. And uh, I really didn't expect. I thought it was going to be such a tight game. And uh, we've turned them over big time. I know we're at home. A lovely ball in. A lovely work between Visconti and uh, Maserani. Maserani, Visconti, Visconti, just to check for offside here, but he's on Fabro, Fabregoli is onside and gets it in. And I think that is job done. Maybe not. Are they going to get a second here? Hopefully not. Rosso crosses it in. It's cleared out, though, and well defended. And this could be their last attempt. And Zappella has given away a free kick. No yellow cards, I don't think. Ball comes in, and it's cleared by Baxvanos, who has done fantastic defending since he's been here. Baxvanos again, and that goes out for a throw. I think that must pretty much be it. Well, they're going to get a chance, uh, but it's cleared up field. Ball comes back in. They've got to be offside there, and that's gone out for a corner, but they're not going to get the corner. It is game over, and uh, this formation has done its job. And a comprehensive win, 12 shots, 5 on target, of which 4 of those were goals. They had 3 shots, but just 2 on target. And I think the possession also tells quite a bit of a story. We held possession 67% of the time against their 33% of the time uh, with a 91% pass completion rate. That is very good, a good win. Uh, why have we got some complacent players here? For goodness sake, what is the matter with you lot? We've just beaten probably one of the better sides, the better three sides in the competition. What a comeback to see your side completely turn a game around like that must be pleasing. It always goes to show level of spirit in the dressing room. They refuse to be beaten. Um, you've got to be pleased with the result. Performance impressive. It was very pleasing. I'm very happy we did everything we set out to do and proved to be f by far the better team. Indeed, and there we go. That is the table. We've cut that deficit now to just eight points. But they've got a much higher goal difference, of course. Uh, but that won't. That four-one win will have helped our goal difference uh, dominance into victory, and uh, we are in fourth place. Um, it'd be good to break a bit of a gap between these guys now and just uh, consolidate there for fourth, and then start to chisel away at these guys if we can. Crow. Crotone, uh, Spezia, um, all the games coming up. Um, so we're looking for that. That was a brilliant game. Bearing in mind we lost earlier in the season at their place, which is not surprising, I suppose. But um, right, just go on for this one thing. Obviously, all the things happening here, we'll uh, we'll have a look at those. It is time to have a look and see 
Our next episode, then, um, we will be coming back for, I think it's Citadella and Salantana. No, I'm telling lies. It's for Stony and Citadella in our next episode, I think. It'll either be Fristoni and Citadella or Citadella and Salonatana. I'm not sure which yet. It'll be that combination coming up um, at the towards the end of February. And obviously we'll do a roundup if there's any more incomings or outgoings uh, with regards to transfers. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Keep you up to date with all that's going on on this channel, uh, whether it be the Sicilian Defence or To Be A Legend. And, of course, if there's any new uh, series released, new episodes of Sicilian Defence are currently released every Tuesday and Friday at 4.15pm. And if you want to keep up to date with what's happening with both these series and any new series that's likely to come out, and also details of uh, FM22... Uh, as it starts to emerge um, because we're getting to sort of July, August is usually when announcements are made um, then join me on Twitter at Just Offside 2 is where you need to be thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed today's episode and don't forget to join me for the next episode episode 26 which will be out on Tuesday until then it's goodbye